AR Fink here. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to safely open Famicom cartridges. For this tutorial you will need a small flat blade screwdriver and a pair of quick grips that has had the rubber pads removed from the jaws. So what you want to do is grip the front side of the cartridge. You notice here you can see the front and back side front panel. You want to grip the front of the cartridge here and here with the quick grips. Now you have to grip carefully so as not to grab the back side of the cartridge case. And this is a little bit tricky because the front edge here is beveled, as you can see, so it's kind of hard to grab on. But what you want to do is, once it's in there, you gently squeeze the front of the cartridge case, and you notice it's bending up a bit there. Then, once that's bent, you grab your screwdriver, insert the screwdriver right here, and gently lever the cartridge case. And if one side won't go, then you try the other side. Yep, see one side just went. Then you do the other side. And uh, just so you know, this is way easier to do with it resting on the edge of a table instead of up in the air like I'm demoing for this video. Yep. Once you've got both the tabs off, you can get it out of the clamp. Then you just sort of wiggle it, and the top comes off. Board comes out. No damage to the back side of the case. No damage to the front side of the case. All four tabs are completely intact and undamaged. To get the cartridge shell back together safely, grab the uh, front half, put the PCB inside, grab the back half, then you attach the latches back on, so it goes. Then, with a quick, quick grips that has pads on it, gently squeeze at each of the front corners until the tabs go back on, like so. There's one. Two. Back together again. No broken tabs. There you have